ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಬಸವರಾಜ್ ಕುಂಟೋಜಿ ಕನ್ಸಲ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಫಿಸಿಷಿಯನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸಿವಿಸ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಟ್ ಮಣಿಪಾಲ್ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ ಮಲ್ಲೇಶ್ವರಂ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಅ ಬ್ರೀಫ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ವ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿನ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಈಗರ್ಲಿ ವೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಟು ನೋ ದ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ವ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಟೇಕನ್ ಹೂ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಟೇಕನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆರ್ ದರ್ ಎನಿ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಷನ್ this covid 19 vaccine is been advised to be given only for the individual who are more than 18 years old and if somebody is taking already another vaccine then there has to be at least 2 weeks or 14 weeks gap should be there if you have taken other vaccine and the second dose of the vaccine should be of the same covid 19 vaccine or should be of the same uh, brand is what is been advisable are there any absolute contraindications like who should not take this covid 19 vaccine yes out of which number one is if somebody has got a severe anaphylactic or allergic reaction to the previous covid 19 vaccine in such individuals it is absolutely contraindicated and number two is if somebody has got a severe anaphylactic or allergic reaction to any other injectable drugs or some of the food particles if they have in them also this covid 19 vaccine is contraindicated it is also contraindicated in pregnant individual as well as women who are lactating or as well as women who are expecting their pregnancy in them this vaccine is contraindicated because during the study all such individuals were excluded in the covid vaccine trial so are there any Uh, relative or wherein we can postpone the covid vaccine yes if somebody is having an active covid infection right now in them it is advisable to postpone taking the covid vaccine at least 4 to 8 weeks after they get cured from the covid infection do if the, the number 2 is if somebody who has had a covid infection and who have taken a plasma as a treatment therapy in such individuals also it is preferable preferable to defer at least 4 to 8 weeks and uh, in individuals who are acutely severely ill and hospitalized in such individuals also it is preferable to uh, defer taking this covid vaccine at least for 4 to weeks are there any special precautions when covid vaccine has been given yes if someone who has got a bleeding or the coagulation abnormality such as uh, if they have got a platelet abnormality if they have got a clotting factor deficiency if they have got a coagulopathy in them one need to be cautious when administering covid 19 vaccine most importantly there are many doubts whether somebody who is suffering from chronic illness whether they should be administered with covid 19 vaccine yes all the patients who are suffering from chronic illness such as um, chronic bronchitis asthma neurological problem or the cardiac problem all these individuals are advised to be advised to take covid 19 vaccine uh, so hence uh, these vaccines are administered for all the patients who are having a chronic uh, uh, illness also and patients who are immunodeficient and patients uh, such as hiv or other immunodeficient individuals also covid 19 vaccine is being advised so these are the few important points that are available as a guideline that is been given by the government of india as of now and uh, we are all eagerly waiting to get the covid vaccine so that all of us can live happily and as the days progresses we will keep you updated more about the covid vaccine thank you